Brain imaging studies strongly implicate the prefrontal cortex in the generation of cognitive deficits of schizophrenia. Whether the prefrontal dysfunction is primary or could be a consequence of changes in other areas of the brain is unknown. The mediodotal thalamus is the main thalamic nucleus projecting to the prefrontal cortex, and decreased activations of CMD has been measured in patients doing cognitive testing. Because brain imaging studies in humans are correlative, causal relationships are hard to establish. We therefore use the mouse as an animal model to ask whether a primary decrease in MD activity could lead to prefrontal dependent cognitive deficits and whether it alters functional connectivity between the MD and the PFC. Hi, this is Pia. And this is Seb, and we're going to take you through our results. To decrease MD activity, we use the pharmacogenetic approach developed in Brian Roth lab. The general principle of the DREAD system relies on modified muscarinic receptors that lose their affinity for acetylcholine and can be potently activated by an inert compound, clozapine anoxide. In our study, we used the HM4D receptor which triggers cell hyperpolarization through GI protein signaling. Stereotaxic injection of an adeno-associated virus enables co-expression of both GFP in green an HM4D receptor here labeled with anti-HA immunostaining within DMD. IP injection of CNO leads to decreased activity of about 50% of recorded MD neurons in behaving mice. We then assessed the behavioral consequences of our manipulation in a working memory task. During the sample phase of this T-maze working memory task, the mouse is forced to visit one arm of the maze here the left to get a reward. During the choice phase, the mouse has to remember which arm has been previously visited. A turn in this arm will lead to no reward, while turning in the other will give the mouse access to a reward. Using this task, we showed that mice with decreased MD activity take longer to acquire the task and show deficit in performance when long delays are used. We want to know, is the MD PFC circuit engaged in this task? To answer this, we implanted stereotrodes into the MD thalamus and a single wire into the prelimbic region of the PFC and recorded during TMA's acquisition and performance. We then measured the functional connectivity between the regions using two methods. One of these is coherence of the local field potential oscillations. In these example snippets of filtered oscillations, we see that they have a consistent amplitude and phase relationship, so they are said to be coherent. A second method of assessing functional connectivity is phase locking, this method involves action potentials, or spikes, recorded from single units in the MD and LFPs recorded from the PFC. Lining up the spikes to the LFP in time, we can assess the degree to which a cell fires at a certain phase in the ongoing oscillations of the other region. In this example, the spikes fall consistently on a particular phase of the LFP and therefore have a high phase locking. We hypothesize that if functional connectivity between MD and PFC is modulated by working memory, then there should be higher phase locking during the choice phase of the task, the phase that has the highest mnemonic demand. Indeed, this is what we saw. In saline animals, we observed an increase in phase locking from the sample to the choice phase. This was specific for the beta frequency range. In contrast, when we decreased MD activity with CNO, the increase in phase locking was disrupted. So MD-PFC connectivity is modulated by the behavior, and this modulation is disrupted when MD activity is decreased. What about the physiology during the acquisition of the TMase? Remember, mice with decreased MD activity took more trials to learn the task, which can be seen in the acquisition curve. We saw the same effect in the beta coherence between MD and PFC. The increase in beta coherence was delayed. Moreover, the increase in beta coherence correlated with performance in the task. Our results are consistent with imaging findings from patients with schizophrenia, where we see decreases in both MD activity and thalamocortical connectivity. Interestingly, they suggest there may be a causal relationship between these two phenotypes. This study demonstrates that a primary dysfunction in the MD can lead to prefrontal dependent cognitive deficits, suggesting that similar mechanisms could operate in patients with schizophrenia.